we have this every month (uh) we had this for like but I don't know twenty months now so there are hundred and forty eight named C_S_S colours in the specification so far we have not use maybe we use twenty so there's still a lot more (uh) C_S_S colours to go I think that we will run out of (uh) C_S_S meet ups before we run out of C_S_S colours so this month (uh) we are using a medium violet red so with C_S_S named colours instead of writing (uh) complicated hex codes or R_G_B you can use english word english word medium violet red note that medium violet red no space no dash no underscore must be one word medium violet red and you will get this beautiful colour as your (uh) displaying on your screen but if you don't like english (uh) you 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 like hex codes you can use C seven one five eight five or if R_G_B_A is your (uh) colour notation of choice you can do one nine nine twenty one one three three eventually I will probably introduce (uh) H_S_L et cetera but that will mean I have to update my data set and then #hui ting# hashtag lazy so so far just like that moving on [ah] okay we have an agenda this is a new slide that I added this year twenty nineteen because you know fresh new look so (um) we will always have this H_T_M_L C_S_S news of the month so you have to tolerate another ten minutes of me speaking nonsense here (uh) the second one here (uh) is our this fine gentleman sitting here wearing a red dot ruby t-shirt he's going to (uh) teach us about making fancy pure C_S_S check boxes and radio buttons while still maintaining accessibility so look forward to this [ah] the last one is creating art with C_S_S unfortunately it's by me because none of you all want to talk !aiya! #kaypoh# then I have to talk okay so too bad you all have to sit through me after (uh) ted gives his (uh) beautiful talk so okay announcement come later so if anybody else want to look for job hire can 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 say later don't worry (uh) we we will not run away so H_T_M_L and C_S_S news of the month is (uh) my excuse for making you all sit through me (uh) talking about C_S_S because nobody (uh) I only know a very few number of people in person [ah] who actually go and read the specification but because you all are here right I must force you all to 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 listen to this so what happens is that C_S_S is broken up into (uh) a number of different modules and these modules are updated from time to time because people have to write the specs before browsers can implement them into browsers so for the month of february some things got updated (uh) so this month don't have (uh) browser updates cause I think they updated last month so the next (uh) crop of browser versions will come out in march so if you are looking for browser news (uh) come again next month so for now C_S_S scroll snap module one candidate recommendation has been updated this is not to tell you (uh) about the spec itself but to tell you what that this C_S_S property exists so C_S_S scroll snap contains features to control panning and scrolling behaviour with snap positions so essentially you can do like scroll jacking but don't use javascript use C_S_S (uh) whether this is a good thing or bad thing (uh) no comment (uh) you all can make a decision yourself okay then so we also have (uh) C_S_S values and units they are also (uh) in a specification so all your usually your like your pixel [lah] ram [lah] C_H [lah] all this (uh) they have to be defined in a specification so right now it's it's in level three which describes the common values and units but there's also a a level four so how these modules work is that (uh) because if you have one very big monolithic (uh) specification right it's very unwieldy to update (uh) so what they have done in two thousand they broke it all up so if you look at C_S_S two point one [hor] it's a five hundred page document no [lah] not so long then after two thousand right it's broken up into different modules so it it helps them maintain and you know update and things like that so what happens is that they will they will discuss like all these features that we want but they will realise that the scope is too big so what they will do is that some of the things that they feel that they cannot be done at this time they want to do but they don't want to like sort of defer the whole thing right they will just defer to another level so for example values and units already up to level four media query is already up to level five so what they are doing is they are just making sure that the C_S_S keeps getting updated but if it's too big a scope they will just defer 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 right everybody's favourite word is defer so level four is going to introduce a number of new units (um) so if you are curious what they are please go and read the spec it's actually very human readable you all don't think of spec then very boring then only read when you want to sleep (uh) actually it's actually quite (uh) human readable and especially for the newer ones right they actually got diagrams of picture [one] guys picture so so can go and take a look (uh) also (uh) pseudo elements module level four so up to level four as well so pseudo elements as we know (uh) later I'll be talking a bit about pseudo elements I only talking about before and after which is (uh) a bit more common but there are others there are like typographic for like you know hashtag initial letter that type (uh) highlight pseudo elements tree abiding pseudo elements so basically they are going to introduce a few more pseudo elements that you can play around with 
I don't think the light just turned off. I don't think that um, many browsers have this yet, but it's good to know what's coming. Uh, lastly, is uh, CSS transforms module also got. Oh, uh, transforms module level one has finally reached candidate recommendation uh, status. Actually, all these different status you see some say working draft, some say candidate recommendation. Right? This is the state of the specification itself. It's not a direct reflection of whether the browser implements it or not. Because if the browsers wait waited until everything like final final set set, right, we would have nothing. So what, what they do is that it's it's more of a changing the engine on the plane when the plane's still flying kind of situation. So some some browsers will go ahead and, and do some uh, put something in that's release uh, uh, that is working draft. Uh, some will wait until some more conservative, then they'll wait. But eventually, everybody has to, you know, follow the spec. So, so it's, it's a matter of time, uh, okay? the, the lesson here is that we must be patient. Uh, yeah, correct. So, uh, there's a new thing I decided to add into this. This is that throughout the month, I will come across very interesting CSS-related articles. So I'm just going to collate all of them into a list. There are quite a few interesting ones. There's like some do CSS support la, grid la. CSS function, uh, CSS element function, I'm sure people never hear of it because I also never hear of it before. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna share all this. Uh, new, new, new update, new update. Never before, but first time we now have a newsletter. This is just provides me more ways to spam you all with this HTML and CSS news thing. So if you cannot make it or your friend say RSVP, then never come. Uh, you can like just cycle, uh, you can just sample them and then enter their email here and like just subscribe them to this. Uh, I mean, they have to confirm the email, uh, but you know. So we have a newsletter now, and it's, it's basically going to be this uh, in a newsletter form. 